so we all have played what is called the 20 questions game if you didn't know let me illustrate that with an example it's called the 20 questions game the point is you will have something in your mind and the opponent should guess what you have in your mind now i'll say i have an actress in my mind okay and you must guess who is this actress okay i have an actress in my mind who is this actress your first question would be there are so many possible actresses in the world right who am i talking about you should guess that person which i have kept in my mind all right first you will ask is the actress from hollywood or not and i'll say no she's not from hollywood Hollywood no I assume that the actress either is in Hollywood or Bollywood then I'm reducing this sample space into half because this side was Holly this side was Bollywood and you strike this off right half the possibilities are gone and next in Bollywood you ask this question is the actress still acting you know and i'll say no and then that's roughly a lot you know uh active and inactive okay and active is again gone the actress is not really acting today and then you'll ask this question is the actress about 50 years of age or less than 50 years of age i'll say she's above 50 again this much is gone you see the sample space is reducing like anything in a few more questions you will just narrow down the actress name very quickly right your next question possibly would be is the actress in polit into politics and i say yes she is into politics right and then uh, again this this little thing sample space let me just write this down very very small sample space in politics not in politics not in politics gets wiped out and then in politics an actress from bollywood who is not active anymore in uh, movies is into politics how many such people are there above 50 years of age very very few and I, 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 you know you will start guessing is it Jaya Baduri? is it Hema Malini the moment you say Hema Malini I'll say bingo you got it right so out of roughly a million possible actresses you narrowed it down to Hema Malini by cutting down the sample space by half every time you were asking this question roughly half it may not really be half but the point is you you sort of squeeze the sample space this space this order all possibilities is called the sample space you try cutting it short and try making it very very small all right let me take another example you take a very 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 big number how big let's say a million divide it by two whatever you get divide that by two whatever you get divide that by two whatever you get divide that by two how many times should you do this for that to become a single digit one digit number simply 20 times try doing that okay take one million divide it by two divide that by two that by two that by two and so on in less than 20 times you will see that you have in fact exhausted the number and made it a single digit number now how is this happening so let's look at a third example now okay 20 times will make this number go very small although the number of actresses are too many in number you can still narrow it down by halving right this is called what is that in english it's it's called halving right H A L V I N G, half, right? 
Okay, so let me take yet another example. Uh, this example is going to be a very obvious one, which is, let's say, you have a book with you. Okay, let me use my writing skills to <laughs> drawing skills, which is actually very bad, to write a book here. And then let's say here is a book. Okay, and what I'll do is this is a dictionary, right? This is a dictionary with around thousand pages, right? This is a dictionary with around thousand pages. This is a dictionary with thousand pages. Okay. And you, you are after searching for the word, some word that you may not know. Uh, maybe you wanted to check uh, the meaning of the word. What is a complicated word which we may not know? Um, let's say serendipity. Serendi, serendipity, serendipitous, serendipity. Okay, you want to search this. What you do is the dictionary has thousand pages. You open some random page. Let's say you open the 500th page. And the 500th page first letter is P. You know, the first word is P there. Here, okay. Half of it, right. Starts from page, which means the first 500 from page 1 to page 500, 500th page had parrot. So your serendipity word should be in the second half of the book, right? Between 501 to 1000th page. It cannot be here, right? It must be here only, right? So what you do is you discard, you don't worry about the first 500 pages. So even in a dictionary, the sample space here, meaning the all possible places where you may get the word serendipity is 1000 pages, but then you cut it by half, right? What you say is you cut it by half. First 500, 1 to 500, you say the word is not here. The word is in 501th page to the 1000th page, search here. And then again, you will open a page and you will reach T for, there's a word from T, it's called, let's say, tango. The word tango, all right? And you know very well that, uh, you know, tango is, let's say, in the 750th page here, all right? Your word serendipity is definitely then going to be between 501 to 750. This can also be discarded because 750th page became tango, right? Every time you are cutting it by half, you go ahead like this and exactly the way you, when you cut the number by half, it reduces drastically. A dictionary with 1000 pages, okay? It's getting half and half and half. Very soon, you should get the word tango. 1000 pages become roughly 500 pages, roughly becomes 250, roughly becomes 125 and then 64, uh, roughly of course and then 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Instead of checking the entire dictionary for the word serendipity, you check the middle one and then see what the word is based on that you dis discard half the dictionary okay and so on this is a popular method called the binary search binary means two right binary search which means you check you divide the entire space where you're searching into two parts and you discard one half of it Okay, it's always about two parts and then the part where you suspect the, the search element is again you cut that by half, you cut that by half 
and then you say it is probably here so on and so forth and as you know very quickly instead of searching for all thousand pages you cut it short one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in ten steps in a thousand page dictionary you get to find the word that you are on the lookout for this is popularly called the binary search i'm sure most of you already know of it if you don't know of it you have used it in many walks of your life right we, we use this uh, almost always in our lives you know you have used a dictionary you use this method anything that is arranged in alphabetical order there is to be what is called a telephone directory initially now nobody uses it uh, that would again be a very big book of all possible names in the city and you can find out a person's name in that by going alphabetically and what we do there is binary search okay in fact the whole of sherlock holmes stories if you observe uh, the idea there in any detective stories for that matter is to narrow down the possibilities and converge to very very few possibilities just the way i did for what was that the hema malini actress that i had in my mind by asking the right questions you can easily narrow it down to the right answer right so detectives use this all right dictionary searching uses this okay the 20 question games uses this a game uses this and then you know a simple dictionary telephone directory or even having a number you use this method right and finally 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 we come to this question of there is a list okay a big list with around 1000 numbers okay all right and then this is a big list all right 1000 numbers and it is sorted please note it is sorted okay don't forget this it's sorted and then my question is in the middle let's say in the roughly in the 500th element if you see uh, elements are 2623 and 2702 okay and uh, 2809 right you see now this number all right and you want to search for whether this contains the number 3000 all right this list you want to check if this list contains the number 3000 how will you find that out what you will do is come to the middle which is 2702 to the left of it is a number less than that because it is sorted to the right of it is a number bigger than that because it is sorted okay and you know very well 3000 if it exists it should be in this part of the array and not in this part of the array so what you do is you discard this part you don't check that you only check if 3000 is there or not in this part of the array and this continues you take in go to the mid of this and check what is the number if the number is greater than 3000 then it is in this part 3000 if it exists otherwise it is in this part okay if if you are finding it confusing what i have said i am simply saying exactly what we have discussed here same thing all right in terms of searching in a list you search in a list using the binary search technique okay you half the you create half of the list and search there and then you go keep on creating half and half and half of it until you see whether the number is there or not okay so let me try writing a program for us and see how we can code to find an element in the list and how is this a very efficient method i'll even explain what one means by efficient a method let's get into the programming details of this algorithm now 